We start with his views on how imaging techniques applied to oncology can aid with the monitoring of cancer. So traditionally, the response, the way a cancer surgeon responds uh, as evaluated uh, is the traditional anatomic imaging. And anatomic imaging is done by either CAT scan, ultrasound, or MRI. Uh, what is the change in paradigm in terms of our way of thinking is uh, incorporation of functional imaging. What that does is basically you're looking to see how the tumor is behaving rather than is the tumor present or not. What are the challenges with imaging, I suppose, when, uh, when used on, on sort of multi-center, multinational trials? So I think I would put three factors that become the most important. One is standardization. The other is feasibility of uh, uh, being able to get uh, the, the radio tracers that you would potentially be doing. 80% uh, of uh, the exploratory imaging is with PET imaging and you need the tracer, so can you deliver that? And third, becomes the financial issues. You know, these are the three challenges. And let's just um, delve a little deeper if we can. You mentioned the financial problems there. Of course, the world's in a, a, a global economic downturn. How is this going to impact on the clinical imaging space? I think that's a very interesting question, and I think um, it, it depends on who you're asking and how do you do it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it a little bit more uh, down the line, um, you know, what, what is our goal? The goal is the right patient, the right medicine, and the right uh, dose, right? If we keep that in mind, success rate of uh, oncology drug is 20%, which means 80% of the times you're giving the wrong drug to the patients, correct? So society as a whole uh, is better off, you know, being able to invest into that. Unfortunately, uh, all of us are going to either have cancer or a heart disease, one of the two, right? And from a patient point of view, you want to look at that because, you know, everybody will become a patient one day, you know, one way or the other. So if you look at it from that point of view, I think this is something that we can not afford not to do. For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.